Before we get into today's video, I did leave my last vlog as a cliffhanger. <laughs> Close. Just Austin, it's nothing scary. Promise. <laughs> so to finish off that cliffhanger, drum roll please. Snuckly snuck that, so have a nice day. She got a tattoo with his initial on her finger. <laughs> hey, feeling good, like I should. Pickles, stop your tap dancing. I swear, when my dog walks across the ground, it's like, <laughs> baby. Look at the baby. Say hi vlog. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So I asked you guys on Instagram through a poll what video you guys wanted to see today and this is what we voted on, a current favorite. If you guys want to be involved and more interactive and more engaged with me, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm going to let you guys vote on videos. I want to give you guys what you want. I'm going to try not to say obsessed in this video too much. <music> off today's video with some fashion favorites I don't have too much because let's just be honest my fashion has been lacking I really 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 want to get more into fashion and expanding and like wearing more than just black leggings and sweatpants every single day so I will show you guys my first favorite and it is these jeans so I do have a try on haul coming from winter and hot Miami styles this is gonna be in that try on haul they are the perfect fit they're not too tight huh all right. These pair of jeans are from Windsor. Um, hi, they're destroyed. They're the perfect color, flexible, perfect length. I did cup them a little bit at the bottoms. Not cup, cusp. They fit so perfectly around my hips and my waist and my booty and my thigh and like the whole ratio just fits my body type perfectly. And those are hard to come across. My new shoes, I did go ahead and buy the Air Force Ones. These are the Sage Low Top High Platform. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They look cute with any outfit. They literally, I don't know what it is. I know Air Force Ones are the hype, but they kind of deserve it. I was going to go with the plain white ones because I feel like they would go with everything. But honestly, I'm glad in this decision because they're more unique and they still go with everything. Next fashion favorite, these are from Target. They're $4.99 and they're just these plain little tank tops. I got it in white, black, gray, and yellow. This is the yellow one. I think it's so cute because of like the little lettuce cup bottom and they're just perfect to like be comfy and cute. All right, my next two fashion favorites are from Riderwear. I do have a haul coming very soon for their new collections. Woo, so pop. So this is from the Staples collection and they have every single color. They're all like pastels, Easter egg vibes. Telling me they're super cute. They look good with a tan. Oh, they're so cute. So they look like this. This is the yellow pair. And I have tried these, but they fit so good because they are the scrunch bum. They are the side tie. And they are just like the most flattering, sucking you in and all the places you need to be sucked in, but then popping your booty out type of short. If you are not much of a booty short gal, I recommend these from Red Red. These are stunning. They are so flattering on and they are a longer short. I know they look super small um, in the camera just because these are the type of leggings that like shrink up and look a newborn baby is supposed to be wearing them, but then they like literally fit and adjust like a glove to your body. And it's amazing. I don't know how they do it. The technology is just fabulous. So yeah, these are the Rowdy Wear Geo Seamless Shorts, and I love them because, like I said, they are not booty short length. They are more of, like, a biker short. You guys can use my code CARISSA10 to save money and also support your girl, you know what I'm saying? Next favorite for fashion, we're going to talk about a little something-something from the Jacked Life. You guys don't know, that's my mom's online boutique, and we are kind of, like, in a hiatus. We are rebranding. We are redoing all of it. The website is still up for you guys to purchase anything on there, but we're just not adding new arrivals yet, but... My all-time favorite joggers in the history of joggers, in the history of sweatpants, and I am the sweatpant queen. I wear them every single day. So I know sweatpants. Where can you find sweatpants that are high-waisted, like actually high-waisted, not the ones that just like awkwardly sit below the belly button you rolled? Like, no, I just got it. Where can you find sweatpants that are high-waisted, that are pocketed, 
that are cinched at the ankle jogger that fit perfect, that are just baggy in all the right places to make it enough to be comfortable, but your booty, your booty, oh, she's fire in these. I'm obsessed, this actually comes as a set with a matching like cropped hoodie. Now the hoodie is just a little too much for the weather that we're having in Arizona right now, so I have just been wearing my joggers with like a tube top every day. <laughs> Moving forward, let's do food because I have a lot of food over here. First things first, you guys can tell by my last video, I have been obsessed with chocolate milk. Now I'm a vegan, so they have the almond milk version of this, but it's so freaking good. It tastes like literally, you guys ever had a chocolate frosty from Wendy's? This is what she tastes like, a melted chocolate frosty, which sounds gross, but it's so good. The macros on this, I don't really know. 100 calories, two and a half grams of fat, 21 carbs, 19 sugar. Not the best thing in the world for you, but um, she's good. Next, this has been a game changer. This girl here came into my life one week ago, but I've been so obsessed with her and using her every single day to the point where I went to Whole Foods and got my huge massive salad that I always get. And I'm normally like, okay, just using their dressing. Nope, I had to bring my dressing with me so I could drizzle her on top. If poppy seed dressing, I mean, I feel like maybe I'm new to this but she's underrated because we don't hear about her enough and she is so good. Like this is the best dressing I have ever had. My grandma used to make a broccoli salad and she used to like make this like homemade dressing and this is exactly what it tastes like and I'm so obsessed. It's Brianna's brand. We don't hear much about a poppy seed dressing so like bring her to life. Next, I talk about these a lot, but they have definitely been this month's favorite. I have noticed myself going to them because I just like don't like to cook. And it's taquitos. They're all good, they're all vegan. They have so many different flavors, but my favorite flavor is the chorizo and black bean style. Whew. These are so freaking yummy. It's like healthy Taco Bell. So good. Going along with the salad dressing, like salads, I don't have to force down my throat. Like I feel like so many people are like, Ugh, I have to just like go for a salad. Like I choose salad. I love salad. Salad is so good. You can add whatever you want to it. This is one of my favorites. This is from a store out here called Sprouts. And this is the Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Kit. Let me try to explain to you what's in here. Escarole, endive, broccoli, cauliflower, crispy flatbread strips, feta cheese, which I take out because it actually comes in like a little separate baggie in there. Um, radish, carrots, and red cabbage. And then it also comes with a basil balsamic vinaigrette dressing. It's good. I do like it, but... Just leaving that there. Sometimes I like to get really, really, really fancy. And another one of my favorite lettuces, like I can't believe I'm saying my favorite lettuces on here, is the 50-50 mix. You can get this anywhere. This is from Target. It's just organic baby spinach and spring mix. I don't know what it is, but these two together are just like a power couple. Like it's the most crunchy, fresh, delicious, like mix in the world. All right, another thing is from Trader Joe's. This is the pineapple salsa. This is my favorite go-to sauce because so many times sauces and condiments can add so many added sugars and calories and just like you make a healthy meal unhealthy by adding that to it. So the salsa is always a good go-to to keep healthy, but still pack in that flavor. It's essentially vegetables, so good. The pineapple one adds a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit extra fanciness. I make rice and veggies pretty much every single day for dinner because I'm obsessed with it. Put this on it. Changes the game. My favorite snack, I've showed this in vlogs as well. You take a Ritz cracker, these are, these are golden rounds. Should I like demonstrate this for you guys? Oh, this one broke, huh? So you take a cracker, you take vegan cream cheese. Now, I'm not huge on the vegan cream cheese ziz that are out there. I have, however, found the Trader Joe's one, which beats all by a landslide. The other ones taste fake to me, honestly. Like, you can tell it's not real freaking cream cheese. This tastes just like regular cream cheese. Nice little scoop a dupe of that. And then you take sriracha and you squirt her on top so it's like spicy, creamy, crunchy. It's all the mixtures. Try it. I know it sounds weird. I'm telling you. I got my mom on it. I got Sam on it. I'm about to get you guys on it. Okay, next thing I'm going to mention is something that I literally found yesterday. It's already a favorite of mine. I can't wait till after this video to go to the store 
and to pick this up because I need it in my life. Well, I need more in my life. The LaCroix, you guys know I love LaCroix. I've been drinking them for years. Key lime flavor. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's like lime, but it kind of has like a cream soda vibe to it. I don't even know how to explain it. It is the freaking best LaCroix I have ever had. My mom, shout out to you girl, had them at her house yesterday and I tried one and fell in love with it and now I need to have that. All right, let's keep this thing going, shall we? Let's jump into some beauty favorites. So, Pacifica, like the brand I never hear about, but hi, she needs more recognition. I have tried out these glowing glycolic acid orange and vanilla. Let me say that again, orange and vanilla. Picture that, smell that, like you know that smells fresh, you know that smells good, you know you wanna try it. These are amazing. They're 100% vegan, they're cruelty free, they are so refreshing, they leave your skin feeling absolutely insanely amazing, and they're just like little makeup wipes. So I use these to take my makeup off after I took my makeup off. I will say like they don't really do the best at getting waterproof eye stuff off, but they get the job done with like the face and just like cleaning up after you already wash your face, which you should do anyway. But the best part about them is how refreshing and rejuvenating you feel after this. I have even caught myself literally wiping down my body with these. They're makeup wipes and I'm just like, ooh, yeah. Okay. Next, this is my third pack of these because I'm so obsessed. I do wish they came with more. They only come with two at a time. They are super cheap though. Um, these are anti-puff eye patches. Look at them. They're leaves. They're so freaking cute. It's high in iodine and minerals. So that way it's gonna like soothe your face. It's gonna lock in the moisture. It's gonna make your eyes literally depuff. Like I'm not kidding. Target's two cheapest eye patches are my favorite. And I've tried so many expensive ones. Like hello, pamper me, I'm a queen. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe. Next, she's expensive. She's gonna rob you. But she is freaking, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna spray some right now because I love the smell. And that's why. I feel like a Jeffree Star here. Like he literally just sprays his $100 setting spray all over the place. I'm, sp I'm spraying my $26 hairspray. So yes, that's expensive um, for a hairspray, but this is the most like flexible hairspray ever. It's not going to keep your hair crunchy. It's not gonna make it look crazy. Literally, you're just gonna keep it nice and natural while giving it the best smell of the entire world like it's the best smell i've ever smelled in my entire life if i could find this in a candle i would this is the money maker flexible hold hairspray by dry bar thank me later on the trend with hair i want to mention my shampoo that i use you can get this at ulta but i've also seen people posting that they find these at marshall's and tj maxx for like half the price she is like i think maybe 30 bucks but mm. I have never found a better shampoo. This is the perfect purple shampoo for blondes. It's going to eliminate that brassy yellow hair. And I get questions all the time about, oh my gosh, what did you get done to your hair? This is called natural grow out, but it stays looking good because of my shampoo. This is the Joico Color Balance Purple. All right, moving on to some skincare. So I am so obsessed with Drunk Elephant products, but I do realize they are so expensive. I guess a reason, but at the same time, it's just like, come on. On. Like it's mad expensive. So this was actually gifted to me, so I'm super thankful. But this is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, and this is such a game changer for the warmer months. Like I said again, in Arizona, it's getting hot here. It's like 80 degrees. I'm outside laying out. This is going to save your skin. It's so freaking hydrating and refreshing, and it just makes you feel amazing with or without makeup on. Like it looks amazing under makeup because it makes you look fresh and dewy. But when you're not wearing makeup, if you put this on with some moisturizer, you're glowing, girl. You're glowing natural. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple of fitness favorites. I love Susie B Resistance Bands. They're the best. I have so many. I stan her. She is so inspiring and motivational. And she has the absolute best long band. So we all see the booty bands and stuff like that. But these long bands though are game changers. You can use these for so many different things. And she sent me these actually. I love you Susie. Heavy resistance one and then the light resistance one. So you can change up what you're doing with your workouts. These are perfect for doing squats. These are perfect for doing like arm stretches. These are perfect for so many things. But what I've been really, really working on recently is trying to get a pull up. And instead of using like the assisted machine, I feel like it's just too easy. It's not challenging me enough. 
using these bands is freaking hard and I'm cussing in my head, but I feel so close to a pull up because of these bands and they're very, very versatile and I love them and they're cute and they're marble black and white high. Other fitness favorites, I am out. I literally need to go do that right after this before I go to the gym. I'm out of my Alani New Energy drinks. I have tried every single flavor. I'm not even kidding. I did an Instagram a while back. I think it's in my highlight stories rating them. Um, but hands down, without a question, without a doubt, the absolute best one is the Carnival Candy Grape. Looks like this. It's amazing. I was getting addicted at one point. Who am I kidding? I still am. Okay, moving forward. If you guys watched my 5 a.m. morning routine, I showed you guys exactly what I do in the morning. I always start off morning with praying, prepping, planning. I love to manifest. I love to read my Bible. I love to read books. I love to just educate myself. I love to learn. I love just like really motivating myself. So if you guys want a more in-depth version of this, I literally mentioned every single thing plus more about my morning routine, but quick little rundown. Favorite book of all time. I got so much out of it. A ton of you guys went out and bought this. And shout out to my brother. He actually showed it to me. This is his book, actually. It's Russ's Get Out of Your Way. It's all in your head. As you guys can see, we made some notes. It resonated with me so much. It got me so motivated. It really helped me, like, lock in and dial in my inner ambition and drive and confidence. And it's just the biggest confidence booster. It's insanely amazing. If you were going to take anything away from this entire haul buy this and it's not sponsored literally buy that next is my year in the bible journal so i always start off first thing i do is pray and read the bible every single morning and this has helped me get through the bible at a pace that's comfortable and at a pace that i can like retain information and learn from it reading the bible is kind of like scary and intimidating i would say um a lot of times you'll give up trust me i've tried to read the bible a million times and i give up because i get bored and i'm just being honest or I won't understand or something like that, but this really keeps you on track and it gives you space to write notes. And I actually just hit my 100th day today, so that was so exciting, but it is literally all laid out for you so you can read the Bible within a year's time frame. And last but not least, Homeboy Grant Cardone's book, Be Obsessed or Be Average, such a good one as well. Um, it's like, like, if you get offended, don't read this book because it's going to make you feel like, dang, I need to set my game up. But I love that, I love feeling like that. I love to be pushed and challenged and told to set my game. I want to talk about reality TV favorites. You guys know I'm obsessed with The Bachelor. Holla! Tonight is the first night of the finale. My snap is so pathetic. So we already know that all the juicy stuff is going to happen tomorrow. They're going to leave us cliffhanging tonight, but I still live for it. So yeah, Bachelor, very controversial about this season. If you guys want, you should totally follow my podcast with me and my mom. It's called Genesis Podcast. We always do recaps on The Bachelor, and that's where I kind of like feed my opinion. I'm obsessed with American Idol. Ugh. I just feel for these people. I just love it. Like, I wish I could sing so bad because ugh, that's amazing. And last but not least is Biggest Loser, which is on right now. And I'm really, really, really obsessed with that right now as well. Again, I feel for you people. I love seeing people just transform their lives. I love seeing people succeed. And these shows are just like all about that. So playlist song video it's coming soon i know it's been a minute it's probably been since last summer since i've done a playlist video but yeah playlist video is going to be coming at you guys very soon i've been collecting some of my favorite songs um and yeah so yeah guys that has been all of my favorites recently i hope that i shared some things that you guys can go out and try i really really want to repost you guys on my instagram so if you try anything that i mentioned today tag me on instagram post on your story I love you all so much. Time's a Millie Millie Trilly, and I will see you guys in my next vlog this week. Love you. Bye.